Well, it is one of the Earth's greatest mysteries. How quickly did it take for the ecosystem to rebound after the mass extinction? Turns out the answer was hiding in plain sight in these hills near Colorado Springs. Tori Mason live at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science tonight. And Tori, if it wasn't for that asteroid wiping out the dinosaurs, we probably wouldn't be here. Exactly. All modern mammals, including humans, can trace our origins back to those earliest survivors of the asteroid impact. The fossils found near Colorado Springs show us the origin of the modern world, and if it weren't for one scientist's curiosity, it would still be hiding in plain sight. Creations just like this. If you thought this was just a rock, you're not alone. Until recently, every scientist overlooked these concretions and the treasures inside. And with a swing of his hammer, Tyler cracked the fossil code. Dr. Tyler Lyson literally cracked open one of these rocks. And staring back at him was the origin of the modern world. Inside of these rocks are whole skulls, and in some cases, entire skeletons. These concretions were always overlooked because they're not common in sediment that preserves land animals. We found whole crocodiles. The thing is, Colorado wasn't always surrounded by land. So if you got in a car in Colorado Springs 66 million years ago and drove east, when you hit Kansas, you'd be in water. Dr. Ian Miller also found thousands of fossilized plants. He watched one of their youngest volunteers crack open what's now the Earth's oldest legume on record. Oh my God, that's a bean bot. So why does all this matter? These fossils are officially the beginning of life as we know it. With all of these uh, fossils that we have, plants and animals, we can really start to answer some of those important questions. It's all really incredible just to think about. Now, my colleague, Jamie Leary, she actually went with the scientists to help unearth some of these fossils over near Colorado Springs. She'll have a full report to you tonight on CBS 4 News at 10. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Exciting stuff. Tori, thank you.